So coach, you got the Ethan Bates scouting report queued up already? No, I'm happy for Ethan. You know, Ethan just wanted to play. Been, he stayed here, I think, three semesters. And, you know, he was on two really good teams. Or you know, that fall again, another really good team. And kind of wanted to play third. And third was, you know, was a guy named uh, Wallace that was pretty good on that team. And went to Juco ball and, and did, did pretty well there. But he's actually, you know, we talked to him about pitching because he pitched in high school. And he wasn't ready to pitch here yet. He didn't, he wanted to try to hit. Um, was thought he was more of a pro prospect as a hitter, and uh, you know, just just glad to see that he's he's found a home. It's not too far from his home, and he's getting to enjoy some uh, a college career. What do you hope you get out of Coil tomorrow? Well, best case scenario, maybe three to four innings. Um, just I just want to see him command the ball and and pitch and make it hard on him. You know, if they hit him and he's throwing strikes, I get it. But, Get ahead in the count. I just want to see a freshman who we've seen in the fall. He's got a good curveball, and he hasn't been pitching like freely. You know, it's come in like the other day. He came in some 86 on the board anyway, and the board's not always right. But then you know, once he's been in there for a while, all of a sudden you see 89, and that's that's where he needs to come in. That's what he does. He's 88 to 90, 91, mostly 89, 90. Uh, I just want to see that guy. You mentioned Tiger up there, maybe not quite as optimistic, or is it just a matter of not knowing the results just, of today? You know, yeah. there's there's so many tests you can do. You can do an MRI. You can do an MRI with dye. And so we're getting everything done just to clear everybody's everybody's mind. So we, we might already know by now, but uh, he had, he had an, the last one done today. So he, he feels fine, but we've had other pitchers tell us they feel fine too, and it's not fine. So we're hoping for the best. Yeah, and on Frank, too, I wanted to make sure to clarify what you said up there. Yeah. He's also in the same boat, maybe five or six. Well, if it's a, if it's a, the lat and it's a, a strain, I think I think that's what we're looking at. If it's if it's worse, then he'd be done. Are there any other pitchers that haven't <clears throat> pitched yet that might still get a chance down the line, or have we pretty much mm, seen you might You may see one tomorrow, but I don't want to mention a name yet, but you may see one tomorrow. Yeah, he has got a good arm. And then you said soreness on Zach, but we might see him tomorrow. Did I hear that? He had right? just seen, been, you know, he hadn't been pitching well, obviously. Hadn't been feeling great. Maybe he told us or maybe he didn't. I don't know the situation there, but um, he's not making any excuses. And he's just working, and, and he, he threw a, a light bulb in yesterday. He's supposed to play catch today. If he feels good, you know, he'll be on the board tomorrow. Should be a pretty good day with the military operation tomorrow. Yeah, it'll be really, like it'll be neat. You know, just, uh, I think, you know, like, uh, I think the national anthem, they're going to bring out a really big flag and all over, you know, I think have some veterans out there helping out, you know, spreading that out. And I just think it'll be cool if we're going to wear, we'll wear, you know, military type hats and uh, anything we can to honor them a little bit. And uh, I just, I think it's really neat that, that the university has kind of stepped it up to, to, to put on something special for the military. It's kind of a unique matchup with Army. How did this kind of come about? Was it just a matter of trying to find a quality opponent they're picked high in their league? or um, We're just trying to find some opponents, uh, obviously, all the time. It's hard to get teams to come down here. Once the first two or three weeks are over, teams that have been on the road, they don't want to go on the road much. Uh, they, they went to Manhattan. They thought, hey, we'll come down here. Originally, we were supposed to play them twice, and then that was just – it didn't work out. Uh, so we said, hey, we're fine with just one. and. Uh, no, it's just uh, nothing special went on there. It just worked out they were looking for a ball game maybe in the Midwest. I feel like there's no shortage of freshmen that you could mention, but Cooper Dossett's a guy that had a you know, bounce back outing in his last time out. Is he a guy that you might be – Yeah, he'll throw? be on the board tomorrow. He's got a really good arm. he got a pitch in the game. You know, a little thing. He's got to be a little quicker to the plate so they don't run on you. you got to throw more strikes. His stuff is good. So, you know, he didn't pitch a lot of senior year because his arm was bothering him. He didn't pitch all fall because his arm was bothering him. We were rehabbing him. And we didn't even know how it was going to go once, you know, January, February got here. But it, he's, he's good. It's not hurting. So we, were about, we thought, hey, this is a major plus. This guy's got good stuff. But you got to do it against the other team. And if he, if he figures out, he could be a big part of it. Talking about scheduling a minute ago, uh, you mentioned uh, Army. But Louisiana Tech, this is the second time in a few years that yeah. you had them the last weekend before uh, conference play. Is that by, by design? Yeah, they, uh, you know, we went down there and uh, I remember when I called Coach Burles and said, hey, what would you think about us coming down there and playing at your park? He goes, no way, you won't do that. I said, yeah, well, I said, if you come back. 
He said, yeah, I'll be all over it. We'll move somebody if we have to. And so this is the return trip. And uh, it, was, it was a really good series last time. And uh, we got them the first couple of games that they were tied. I remember the first game, I think, Battles hit that home run off their student section out there, off in the apartment complex, and give us the lead, and we held it. And then, you know, Saturday, I don't remember exactly, we won the game. And then Sunday, it was a one-run game. I remember we flew out to the Walden Moon full straight in kept that ball in the park and uh, but it was a good series for us a good experience and you know we're obviously we're we're really leery of them because they they're they're older and playing SEC school on the road and you know we're a little thin on the mound all right yeah so I mean I think this week is going to be a big week with the games that we have because we are getting ready for SEC games and then the UNLV games next week. Um, you know, we're going to have to really, really watch who we throw, especially that second game, because we have to be we have to be close to full strength against Auburn because they're leading the league in hit. I mean, those dudes can really hit. So, you know, it's going to be interesting. We need to grab all the wins we can but we have to be smart about it too when we're talking about conference play. So we'll have to be careful against UNLV on who we use. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so I want to play some reserves here and there. Um, I'm still going to start most of the starters, but they might plug a guy in here or one in there uh, where they can get some experience. And there's some, you know, really that are, they're close to being starters. There isn't a lot of debt separation Maybe it's a platoon situation. I mean, I kind of like to get Jones some at bats because, you know, he frustrated me the other day because he had bases loaded twice, less than two outs, and driving a run. You know, kind of a little talk with him about it. You know, being aggressive and getting after it, and you know, then he hits one about as hard as you can. A couple of bats later, and we need that. We need that guy. I don't expect him to hit it like that every time, but I just want him to go up there with runners in scoring position. You look for the first available pitch that's above the belt or belt high and hit it and not look for the perfect pitch. And that's what I kind of see from him. But he's one of the guys I want to see play. All right. All right.